YouTube, it's Thursdays with Angela, and this week the topic on the channel is trans safety. Um, first, I guess I really want to say that I'm glad nobody has had so much to talk about. Um, I've, I've, you know, I was planning on starting my video with, by saying I really don't have a lot to say, this will probably be short, and then as I watched all the other videos on the channel, I realized that everybody is pretty much starting their video that way, and um, although I, you know, I guess I wish we had more to offer as far as um, experiences for people who might be watching the channel for education or for um, information, I am so glad that on this topic we by far don't have so much to say because um, that means, and I really hope I don't jinx us, because I know there's still people that have to post, but that means that we're, that we're doing okay, that um, by far, all things considered, nobody has experienced massive discrimination or been violenced um, in a really horrible way and, and had a lot to talk about, and that just makes me feel really good that um, at least our community um, that we've done okay as far as safety goes. Okay, so I guess I'll just go down the questions for this week to kind of help guide us through this topic since I don't really know that I have that much to say. Um, have you or the trans men in your life ever felt unsafe due to his trans identity? Um, no, I haven't. Uh, Drew said that he did early on before he passed consistently when he was early in his transition that he did feel unsafe. Um, and he also said that now he um, sometimes thinks in his head, wow, if this person knew I was trans, they might try to violence me. Um, and I would say that I have thought that too, that um, I realized after I started dating Drew, and I, I guess I knew this, but I realized it in more of a like personal way, that the politics of being out as a trans person are so much different than the politics of being out as um, a gay person or, or a lesbian. Um, and I think that that was hard for me to get used to. I am very. I was very out as a lesbian, and I'm very out and vocal as a queer person. Um, and although Drew is out in most situations, it was a new thought process for me to think about um, when we meet new people, whether or not this is safe for him to be out in this situation, or um, or if it'd be better if he wasn't. And that was just a new kind of thought process for me that I hadn't ever really had to think about. Mostly um, when we would go home to meet, to spend time with my family, which is in rural Missouri. Uh, I had to think a lot about that, and I did think on um, many occasions, I'm glad this person doesn't know Jewish trans, just because, one, I don't really want to have that conversation with them, um, two, they're not really that important in my life, or in Drew's life, especially, um, so they don't really have any reason to know, but also because they might not respond in a positive way, so, um, I never felt unsafe, but I did realize the very different politics of being out. Um, have you or the trans man in your life ever been discriminated against because of his trans identity? Um, Drew thinks that he was passed over for a graduate assistantship um, when he was getting his master's uh, for being trans. And he's not really sure if it was because he was trans or because he was, you know, mostly straight identified or that he mostly dates women because he thinks that they were looking for a gay man specifically to take this position, whatever it was. Um, and so they didn't accept him. Um, I don't know, he doesn't know if it was because he was trans or because he primarily dates women, but either way, his identity and orientation and gender in some way affected that decision, he thinks, and um, maybe not so positively. Uh, I've never felt discriminated against, but I have felt excluded. When I first started dating Drew, I had a lot of backlash from the queer community, the gay community that I hung out with at that time. Um, and also just my, and some of my other friends that were like, wait a minute, you're dating a guy, you're such a bad lesbian, what kind of lesbian are you that you're dating a boy? Um, comments like that. Uh, and that was really frustrating and offensive and just not okay. Um, and so I, didn't, I wasn't discriminated, but I was, definitely, I was definitely made to feel like you're not really what you've said you were this whole time or you don't belong, um, you're not one of us anymore. Um, because you pass us straight and you get straight privilege now and so you're not um, you're not really queer if you're gonna um, embrace straight privilege by by pretending quote unquote to be straight and date date dating drew um, so that was kind of frustrating problematic and hurt my feelings a lot um, but not exactly discrimination uh, what precautions do you take to ensure your safety and the safety of your trans man when out in public uh, I don't really think about it. Um, any precautions that I take as far as safety goes, it has nothing to do with his trans identity. It has to do with 
um, living in a city now and, you know, not going in dark alleys alone at night or, um, you know, things like that. General safety, um, common sense type stuff, but nothing about his trans identity. Uh, what worries or concerns do you have when your trans man is out alone somewhere? I don't really have any. Um, Drew passes so well that I don't think anybody would ever look at him and question his gender um, unless they were trans themselves and then they might think that, oh, that guy might be trans too, or unless they were queer and they were aware um, of trans reality, they might pick up on it. But I really have never seen and don't foresee anybody to question um, Drew's gender. If anything, I worry about him being violent because he's a guy and just in general, men are more violent with other men um, in, in, in reality. Um, I guess a one precaution that Drew does take, I, I didn't really think about this, is the whole bathroom thing. And I know a lot of people talk about bathrooms. It's a big part of trans narrative. Um, but Drew is really careful about um, checking out men's bathrooms. He always goes to the men's restroom. Um, there's no real question about that. Um, but he does make sure that they have stalls and they have stalls with doors. And not all restrooms, like in bars, do. So in one bar in particular, when we go, he um, he does ask me to sneak him into the, the women's restroom or go with him into the women's restroom so that he can feel more comfortable going in there because he's with me, um, because he can't go into the men's restroom because they don't have doors on the bathroom. Um, so he does think about that, and that is kind of a precaution. He's very careful about, um, you know, if he's going to use the restroom in public, make sure it has doors and that sort of stuff. Um, what advice do you have to offer others about um, trans safety? Um, I guess the only thing that I feel really relevant to my experience is if you want to be out, which I highly respect and support anybody's decision to be um, out or not to be out depending on their own um, situation and unique experiences but if you want to be out I think it is really um, important to really consider um, who you're out to and why and in what ways because that is where things can get um, kind of iffy um, and that's kind of all that I have I have a book um, as far as resources go um, it's called transgender rights um, Ooh, camera yeah uh, transgender rights and it's kind of academic and very lawyer ish as far as books go so it's not an easy read um, but there's some good stuff in here if anybody's interested in this kind of stuff there's like broken up into three parts the first one is about the law the second one's about legal um, rights and history for trans people and the third one's about politics um, future of the movement that sort of stuff how the trans movement may or may not be related to the gay movement all of that um, it's dense it's hard to get through it's, um, you know, kind of frustrating, but I really got a lot out of it um, in an academic kind of way, so I wanted to put it out there as far as um, a, research, a resource that's kind of related to what we're talking about. Um, that's all I have. This video is way longer than I even thought it would be, um, so I'll see you guys next week.